kukunywa uji ya saa nne mtoto wa yuko mtoto ni baridi the people who go to work there as domestic domestic workers they are the most and the biggest investors here in Kenya most african countries do not have policies or programs targeted specifically at child care for children 0 to 5 Women are said to be children's primary caregivers in most, if not all, African settings. However, for mothers in informal settlements in Kenya who double up as both breadwinner and primary caregivers, they have to make difficult decisions either leave their children in the hands of other caregivers or go to work with them as they fend for their families. Catherine Mongeli, a mother of two, is one of the many mothers in Kenya who rely on the services of a home-based child caregiver to take care of their children during the day. Mimi ni kasho waka, nafanyanga tu kazi ya vibarua. Iwa natena leta mtoto hapa, uyo Esther, nikuwa namleta hapa, ikuwa mdogo, nakafikia umri wa kuenda shule, ya kaenda, sasa hui mdogo Mikaela, ndiyo namleta anga. Mwakati natoka, naenda kibarua, ndiyo namleta. Okay, mimi kwa majina angu, naitu wa anga, na... Nakaa tu hapa maruru. Okay, mimi ni mtu wa vibarua. Sengine naendanga mpaka hata mje mjengo. So naletanga nilianza kuleta huyu mtoto hapa alikuwa na miezi sita. Sasa hivi amefikisha kwa na miaka mbili. Na mwajanga hata wakati naenda ninatoka na ninaenda kama sijui kama naenda kibarua, naenda tu kutafuta, naenda na kosa. Nikirundi ananielewa tu. Naleta mabeni. Haya, amekuja ni chakula yake. Okay. Leo ndachelewa kidogo ndamchukua masaa ya jioni. Kwa nyumba nimeona ikiwa divande juu uh, ule mwenye anamlinda pale anamchukua kama mama yake. Sasa unapata mtoto ana ile stress ya ukimwambia utampeleka anakataa. Uh -uh. Hata wakati wendi mali anaamka anakwambia mimi nipeleke kwa fulani. Naitwa Bitti Smodoni. Mimi majuguna. Hata niviazia ala mtoto mmoja hapa kwa broti. Wakati huo nilikuwa nimejifungua mtoto. Sasa nikaona kesi nikaenda kazi nyingine. Hata nikaanzia nika na watu walikuwa watu wawili kwa hii broti. Sasa vinye nilikuwa na, na wachungia, wakaenda wakita na huko sasa wakambia na kuna mungu na mungu na wachungia tuwenye vizu, vizu. Sasa, sasa niazia hapo. Niazia na wawiri hapa. Mmoja likuwa na kaa inyumba, mungu likuwa na kaa inyumba. Likuwa na kibarua na nyetimu tato wake. Sasa vinye niwachungia watoto hao, wakaenda wakambia na huko, huko inje sasa. Siku andika mahali ati, ati nikona dekea. Born out of a dire need to take care of the growing number of children left unattended or neglected by their working parents or guardians, the goal of child care giving facilities in the informal settlement is to provide a safe space for children, most of whom are under the age of three. Okay, kuna niba yangu alikuwa napeleka watoto mbali, so akawa kila siku, ni kama anasema huko home care ni mbali so akaniuliza unaweza anza nika nikamwambia hai naweza anza aje akaniambia acha nikuachie leo ndivyo nione at least kama naweza so nikachukua huyo mtoto mmoja nikashinda na the whole day na nika make so venye alienda na akakuja akakuta mtoto wake ako sawa the following day akaniletea watu kama tatu so nikaanza hivyo nilikuwa nafanya kazi ya Sunday school for more than 14 years, nikapata wazazi katika kanisa wananiambia they, they want to leave their children to go to work. So, uo wakati, nikachukua watuwa nikasema, naeza jaribu pia kukaa na hawa toto. Vile nimekaa na hawa Sunday school, naeza apply kukaa na hawa kwa we, kama, kama kuwakadisha kwa nyumba. Wakati mwingine, wazazi wakitoka, hata wa usiku, inakana wao naona wazazi wamefurahia sana na wampendezwa na hii jambo there was a, a daycare here before me and that the the owner of this daycare was my friend after leaving people were really uh, they, they, they were not able to go to to, to work they had, had nowhere to, to put their children before they get another daycare it was a challenge for them wengine paka walikuwa na kana watoto kwa nyumba wanaulizana tutafanyaje mara naachia jirani jirani anafika mahali anamwambia leo mimi siko na hiyo kitu ikaanza kugrow ticha kaniambia eh ticha after corona we collapse unaonaje unajaribu na kadekia uone kana kama kanaweza pick up mimi kwanza kwangu nilianza na mtoto mmoja 
ambapo nililetoa na mama aliona niko na hiyo wito ya watoto nilikuwa nauza nini hapa maembe hapa nje na avocado sasa watoto walikuwa na njaa hapo wa jirani akaniuliza unaweza nikalie na mtoto nikamwambia mimi siwezi lakini akarudi akaniambia mimi naona unilelee huyu mtoto mimi aliniachia mtoto hanijui aliniachia mtoto hata siku mfahamu lakini huyo ndio nilianza naye mwaka mmoja kama nampepa naenda kanisa naye naenda kila pahali na yeye sasa ndi wazazi wengi wakaniona wakaniuliza unaweza nilelea unaweza tulelea watoto hapo ndio nilianza Utabiti Africa has identified approximately 5000 of these facilities in Nairobi County alone 2000 in Kisumu County and they estimate that there may be as many as 30000 throughout the country a majority of them charge a facilitation fee of about 30 shillings or less until their guardians pick them up sikuwa ninajua kama inakuanga kazi ju sikuwa nimesikia kitu kama day care baby care sasa mimi ilikuwa tu nifanye vile niliambia Mungu so ikafika siku moja ha, kuna mama tu alikuja akaniuliza wewe ndio unakaanga na mtoto fulani nikamwambia yeye kaanza na unalipishanga aje kaambia hapana silipishangi lakini mimi ndio nakaa naye So akikuja alipata nimeogesha hao watoto pia walikuwa size ya wale wangu wote nimeogesha nimepanga kwa kiti sasa napanga paka wote mafuta ni kuwabadilisha manguo so hiyo habari ikaenda ikienea kuna mama mwenye anaweza chunga watoto vizuri we have been working with uh, a total of 7000 women enumerating them and just uh, getting to know them getting to understand how they work and out of these women 60% of them are uh, unskilled on anything uh, a small percentage of them are skilled at, around 19% of them are skilled on something not necessarily child care but then over 60% of them are not skilled on child care related uh, related uh, skills especially those who operate in the households the home based child care uh, facilities as i mentioned Um, most of them just found themselves doing child care. We started with the Beauty Africa to accelerate quality affordable child care for all because we realized that most African countries do not have policies or programs targeted specifically at child care for children 0 to 5. So we decided to start our work in Kenya by conducting a deep analysis of the sector, understanding the problems and uh, crafting solutions that we've been implementing over the last two years to really impact on issues affecting children 0 to 5 and their caregivers. Changamoto zile nimepitia sana ni kuachiwa watoto. Eh sasa unapata vile shida iko ya chakula siku hizi unapata watu kama wawili wamekuachia mtoto wameandika si ati wanjaandika wameandika wamejaza kila kitu lakini sasa wanajua uwezi achilia mtoto watuwekie mahali penye ukutarejesa ufanye hii kazi yako bila kusumbuliwa na watu wa kanjo which is the best because ikusema ukweli wa kanjua na kusumbua mwanzo mwanzo tukianza kuna mama alileta mtoto na katika ile hali ya mkumpokea akachukua nikachukua mtoto na mtoto alikuwa amelala kuenda kumlaza akaniambia huyu mzazi akaniambia usiamshe huyu mzazi huyu mtoto huyu mtoto wacha alale kabisa juu ukimwamsha sahii na ni six imebakia mtoto atakusumbua ata kuenda kukunywa uji ya saa nne mtoto wa yuko mtoto ni baridi i was like nianze wapi sasa domestic child care givers equally play a key role in caring for children but access to child care giving training remains a challenge investing in a house girl who's who in terms of their skills in terms of their remuneration in terms of where do you get them their background checks is very important and it's not important because of that house girl it's important because of this child because this 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 house girl is most likely spending much more time with a child than you are it doesn't have to be an expensive venture it is small things that you do small conversations find out um just being human with this girl because i see a number of people put you know very strong boundaries i think even the the kenyan government they can take this as a profession just like any other profession hii kasi ni muzuri lakini sasa singine siko na changamoto 
So now mimi nikienda kwa kasi na itachi tu mdosi ya nipende na mini mpende. Ukipenda mfanyi kasi, ata kupenda. The way you treat your relatives, your sisters, your brothers, just assume that they are one of you. Then don't underpay them, don't abuse them. That's why there are, there are some people who are going abroad. Because they are going to be mistreated in Kenya and going to be mistreated in the Middle East, but they are going to be paid well. Through collaborative action for child care, a collective of over 30 organizations and government ministries in technical working groups and learning networks, Uthabiti Africa is driving the care economy agenda by mobilizing civil society organizations and other actors to advocate for paid care work for the female child care workforce. Most of them are not operating any bank accounts. Uh, a few of them who have bank accounts have bank accounts in their own names, but not in the name of the business. Their businesses, some of them are not um, are at that stage that they're either uh, too small or um, either too small or they do they do not have the registration uh, documents that the banks may be looking at to enable them open a business bank account. So a number of them are excluded financially. Our standpoint is that even women economic empowerment is impossible without investment in childcare, and therefore. The data we, we've collected is just a tiny drop in, 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 in terms of uh, what is available out there, but we feel it's enough for governments to act, for uh, funders to act, and also for um, uh, civil society organizations and our communities to act to really amplify the need to support women working in the childcare ecosystem and ensuring that we as a society recognize that actually childcare is critical the caregiver is critical and therefore we need to treat them better, pay them better and actually give them a voice in law and in practice.